Hello travel dreamers and welcome back to another Nomadic Monday where we teach you how to quit your soul sucking nine to five and transition into digital nomad life. In today's episode, we're gonna be covering the cost of living in Vietnam as a digital nomad for one month. So our categories are broken down into five subsections. The first one we're gonna be covering is actually accommodation. So for our cost of accommodation is a little bit on the higher end, but we found some that were quite a bit cheaper. So the range is for us in Hanoi was between 200 US dollars and 400 US dollars for the month. The 200 US dollars accommodation are a little different than what we experienced because we had a friend, Hugo, who actually ended up paying $200 for his apartment. Sorry, the cars are going by as we're filming this. But he ended up paying $200 for his accommodations and he told us that his apartment was really just the basics. It just covered what he needed, some hot water, had a roof over his head, had some balconies, had a little space in his studio apartment, but nothing really crazy. With that cost of living, he also did kind of live in a little sketchier area of town. He <laughs> decided to tell us this by telling a story. So he was like, yeah, I, I live in a really safe part of town. Like, it's totally fine. I only pay 200 US dollars a month. And we're like, oh, okay, so nothing happens over there. And he's like, well, a guy got stabbed in the face yesterday, but like, it's still a safe side of town. And we were like, Hugo, a guy got stabbed in the face. That's not safe. And he's like, oh yeah, but it just like, the knife just went through his lip. So it was fine. It just went like through and out. And it, the guy's okay. He's just in the hospital with a few stitches. And I'm like, Hugo, that makes it unsafe. And he's like, yeah, it's whatever. For us, we didn't stay on that side of town and we stayed in a little bit nicer of an accommodation. Our accommodation cost us 400 US dollars a month. If you guys actually wanna see that entire apartment tour, make sure that you click the, the card up above and you'll be able to see it all. It's a stunning place and it was right next to where all the action's happening. So it was right next to what's called the old quarter. So in Hanoi, that's where, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where a lot of the action is popping. You can go in and get drinks, you have a crazy nightlife, you have really cool shopping during the day. And we live just on the other side of that area with a bridge. But anyways, on to the next category. So next on the list is our cost of transportation. For us for the month, including the purchasing of a motorcycle, the work that we got done on the motorcycle and the cost of petrol, it came out to 385 US dollars for the month. The nice thing about that is that since we are here in Vietnam, you can purchase motorbikes and just purchase a blue card. And what that gives you access to is owning the bike legally. And at the end of your time here, whether it's a month, two months, three months, depending on your visa length, you can actually sell the bike and get the majority of your money back. So realistically, I'm expecting to get about 250 US dollars back from the $300 cost of a motorcycle. So it'll be a good chunk of change. We're actually doing that in a couple days. Third on the list, we have the cost of food. Obviously you have to eat wherever you go. It's unfortunate, maybe not. Here, the food wasn't my favorite, so it was kind of on the unfortunate end. But that cost ran us 285 US dollars for the entire month. Now, we didn't eat out a lot. We really had one Western meal once a week, once every two weeks, which cost us a little bit extra. We had some of the local meals around, but primarily we went to the grocery stores or the markets and did groceries so that way we could cook at home. Since our apartment did have all the utilities that we needed, the stovetop and everything, we tried to eat as healthy as possible and save as much money as possible. So you can spend more or even less depending on how much cooking you're willing to do and how much eating out you're willing to do. So just keep that in mind whenever you guys are planning your trip. And the food from northern Vietnam is going to be different than the food in southern Vietnam. So keep that in mind when you guys are planning your itinerary. The one thing about that cost is there's this thing called Grab Eats. It's like the same service you use to get transport around the city if you don't have a motorbike. And they deliver food. So we would get Grab Eats all of the time and get like these sweet breads and the desserts and oh, it was good. So we were a little... We were a little bad on that part, and that's part of where that cost came from, but we honestly didn't bury in expenses with the treats. The fourth on the list is gonna be entertainment. Our cost for that came out to 238 US dollars for the month, and this included us going out and having drinks whenever we wanted, which was quite often living next to the old quarter, and having tours that we had done, whether it was going to Sapa, whether it was doing a Lanha Bay tour. We had a lot of variety in the items that we did, and keeping ourselves entertained while living the month we did in Hanoi. You guys can plan to have a higher budget for that or a lower budget for that, just depending on your travel lifestyle. If you guys are traveling full time, we recommend 
having fun, but keeping that budget a little lower because you are living in the different countries, not vacationing. But honestly, the decision's up to you. And last on the list, we have our necessities budget. This came out to $200 flat, and that included our gym membership for the two of us for the month. That included any haircuts we needed, any utilities, any, honestly, just all the odds and ends that we, you kind of need for living whenever you settle down in an apartment. And so we kept those at a bare minimum. So I would honestly say if you guys are budgeting, budget for the $200 that will encompass everything that you need for the whole month. So the total cost of living for us for the entire month staying in Hanoi, Vietnam, cost us 1,508 US dollars. Now, if you guys are solo travelers, keep in mind that this entire cost was for two of us. The only cost you're not gonna be splitting in half is going to be accommodations and transportation. But remember, you can find cheaper accommodations and you can get the majority of your money back when selling a motorbike. So when you guys are planning your trip and you're looking at Hanoi, Vietnam as a digital nomad hub, keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, that wraps up today's Nomadic Monday. Make sure you give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and support the rest of our adventures around the world so we can keep making Nomadic Mondays for you so we can keep showing you guys this beautiful world that we live in through our vlogs. And we'll see you on our next adventure.